Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day that we find out whether or not this $30 motherboard off of eBay is actually broken or if it still works. If you didn't see my last video, I couldn't actually figure out whether or not it was broken. What happened was I got the CPU fan to spin, but I didn't get any further than that. Now I believe that it's down to a bias issue because I was using a Ryzen 3000 series CPU namely the Ryzen 3 3100. So what I did was I reached out to Hardware Unboxed and asked if I could borrow a Ryzen 5 1600 and those guys are so great that they sent one out for me and they said I can keep it. So you should go subscribe to Hardware Unboxed. They're great guys over on that channel and uh, yeah, they're really supporting me. Another video coming tomorrow about them. So without further ado, I'm gonna try it with the Ryzen 5 1600 and officially determine whether or not this motherboard is toast. So let's see the setup. All right, so in terms of the setup today, we're gonna to be rocking a Ryzen 5 1600 with a single eight gig stick of RAM, my 1650, and all of this is gonna be powered by my CV550. Now, some things that are different from last time. I've added a CMOS battery, just so that if it is the CMOS battery, for whatever reason, um, it does work. So, let's get started, shall we? And there, we have our PC fully built. Turn the power supply on, and we short these two pins. CPU and GPU spin to life. Do we get a post? Come on, I'm really hoping it works. Come on, please post. Come on. Come on. So it wasn't working until all of a sudden. Take two. Oh. I didn't even press it. <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> Woo! It worked! It's in a terrible resolution. It worked! <laughs> Let's go! Alright, I don't think you can see what's happening um, on the screen because it's very tiny and I can hardly read that easy. I told you, I, I literally told you, I told you it wouldn't be broken. I, I'm, I'm such a genius. I'm actually... I'm actually so happy. I'm such a genius. It was simply a bias issue. Woo! It works. Damn, that is a big relief. I can't actually do anything with this small monitor. So let me go see if I can scavenge a uh, bigger monitor from around the house. So I've got the whole setup. I've got the keyboard, mouse, I've got the PC running, and we're now in the BIOS. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna update the BIOS to support 2000, 3000, and 5000. Unfortunately, this is gonna drop support for Ryzen 1000, but that's okay because more people are gonna be using 2000 and above. So yeah, a little bit sad, but hey, you can now use it with any CPU. Well, this old laptop from 2014, which I actually fixed and repaired by adding an SSD, is what you have to resort to when you're in a house of Mac users. Um, so this is the only way I can update the BIOS at the moment, because I only have one power supply, so I'm using the one from my PC. Anyway, so this is what I have to resort to. All right, so I don't know how well you can see this, but we're now on the support page for the product on the crappy laptop. I'm gonna go to the downloads and I'm going to download the most recent update, which is this. So extract the zip before the update. Let's do just that. I'm gonna plug in my USB drive. I'm now going to extract this into the store and go up. There we go. I think we've got our BIOS in there. All right, so I've now got my BIOS USB all ready to go. So let's plug it in. Okay, so I don't actually think there's a specific port for the motherboard to update the BIOS. So I'm just gonna plug it into this one and see what happens. Bam. I believe it's gonna work. So if I now just hit enter and then press Y, it should flash the BIOS. All right, let's see. All right, so far so good. Nothing's exploded. While I wait for it to load, I thought I'd try some uh, vegan chocolate. You know what? It's not bad. That's not bad. It's not as normal as normal chocolate, but it's definitely not bad. Like it tastes like chocolate. Yeah, I'd probably give that an eight out of 10. This is the type of chocolate as well. It's lint, so it's gonna be good. All right, so the bars flash is done. Do I want to reset the system? Yes. So it looks like for the most part that, um, yeah, it's not going to boot, which is good. I expected that, um, and I should be good. 
Okay, so let me chuck a Ryzen 3000 CPU in here and see if that works. All right, so I've now got the Ryzen 3 3100 in there, the one that wasn't working before. So let's test and see if it works. And there we go. Ryzen 3 3100, easy as that, it's now working. And we've got a different looking BIOS. And this one looks a lot better and yeah, a lot more functional than the other one did. So yeah, the motherboard, it works. And I'm very happy with that. I'm happy to see that. No more e-waste. So yeah, I updated the BIOS and now the motherboard works. But there's a reason that this is called PC flipping. So now I'm gonna list it on eBay. So when I bought this motherboard, I paid a total of $31.39, including the cost of shipping, because I had a $10 discount. So it ended up being quite cheap. Now if we look up B450 motherboards that have sold recently online on eBay, you'll see that they range in price. Most notably, go from around $49 to $60, and this motherboard, which is actually a similar model to the one I had, sold for $27. However, that one has a disclaimer and I don't think was working. So I think I'm going to price this in the middle of the row at exactly 45 Australian dollars. I'm gonna start a bid and the highest bidder wins. I think that sounds like a pretty good plan, if you ask me. So can you profit off doing this? Well, if I paid 45 bucks, subtract $31 of the cost, that brings us to around $14. Now if we take the eBay fee out of that, that brings it down to about $12.20. Now you might think that $12 profit isn't much, but if you compare it to your original investment of $30, that equates to about 38%. So is it a viable option to buy broken PC parts off of eBay and try and flip them again when they're fixed? Yes, I think it actually is. Now considering I only spent $30 and I made about $15 profit, that's not bad. Take away the eBay fee, it's around $13. You might think that $13 isn't that much money, but considering I only invested $30, I'm making around a 40% return on my investment. Not bad, especially considering how low risk of an investment it is, considering it's only $30. And after all, it was a birthday present. So yeah, I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'm TechBiz and I'm out. Subscribe for more. Before you go, don't forget that you can bid on the motherboard, like, and subscribe. Thanks.